Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott, and welcome to Yin Yoga from the Flow and Go series. We're gonna take 10 minutes to slow things down and get really still and go really deep. This class is from Inner Dimension TV, our monthly streaming platform where you can get unlimited access to all of my programs, series, and classes. Programs like Flexibility and Beyond and Yin Yoga Sleep Well. If you're interested, there's a link down below for a 10-day free trial. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button. And now, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's just get started in a downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet a few times. Stretch out the heels, stretch out the calves. Good, and then lift the right leg up on an inhale. Sleeping swan on the exhale. So bring that right leg forward. Bring the left leg long behind you. You can always put padding, a towel, or a bolster to go underneath that right hip if you want. And then we'll just begin to drape the torso out over that front right leg. I'm gonna grab a block here and just put that underneath the forehead for a little bit of extra support. As we come into our first yin posture, just invite yourself to let go, to let be. And even though we only have 10 minutes, that even in 10 minutes, which is on some level an infinite amount of moments, so much restoration and rejuvenation can take place in a very short time when we give our, our nervous system permission. Take a last few breaths there. And nice and easily go ahead and begin to transition your way out of that one. Tuck the left toes underneath, lift that left knee up, bring the right leg up and back, bend the right knee and spray open through that right hip there. Nice little counter stretch. And then right foot back down onto the mat. And then as you're ready, left leg up on the inhale. And then sleeping swan on the other side, setting yourself up to be supported here as well and allowing the torso to drape out over that left leg. And already just a couple of minutes into this, this practice, the nervous system begins to shift from the sympathetic state to the parasympathetic state which is where our body gets that beautiful opportunity to recharge, to renew, and to heal. So see if you can get out of the way of that healing process and allow the wisdom of your yin practice to do what it knows how to do.
Last few breaths there. And then nice and easily begin to exit out of that one. Tuck the right toes underneath. Bring the left leg up and back. Counter stretch as you externally roll open through that left hip. And then left foot releases down onto the ground. And then release the knees onto the floor. Crawl the knees forward about halfway up the mat. Come down into the sit bones as you open the legs out, setting up for a dragonfly pose. If you have a bolster, you can use that. You can always use pillows in place of a bolster as well. And just begin to fold down and use a bolster and a block. When it's available for you, always good to support the weight of the head and you can create a tower as tall as you need to. You can even use your fist if you want here. So always a way to make it work for you. Surrender to gravity. Let go, let be, as you shift from doing and achieving and striving into that polar opposite of just arriving, allowing, and the power of being. Sometimes you may notice the areas that you are stretching begin to loosen up and become a little less tense and tight. So if you need to go deeper, feel free to. Just make sure that you're not pushing or forcing, but again, just allowing and letting go. transition out of the dragonfly pose, taking your time, move your props off to the side, turn forward to face the top of the mat, both legs extended out towards straight, setting up for caterpillar pose, arms come up overhead on an inhale, and then go ahead and fold over and down on an exhale. Again, I'm gonna use my block here between the legs. And allow all the connective tissue and the fascia around your spine to get that slow pressurized stretch. breaths there. And 
Nice. Go ahead and roll yourself slowly all the way back up. And release all the way down onto your back. Hug the right knee in, extend the left leg out towards straight, extend the right arm out to the right, take it into a twist, a couple of breaths. And then other side. As you're ready, go ahead and make your way into the corpse pose, Shavasana. Allowing yourself to integrate and assimilate what you just did. Take a last deep inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, let it all go. If you have the option to stay here longer, definitely recommend that. But officially, our time is up. So much health, much wealth, and much love to you. Namaste. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me and sharing your energy in that sweet yin practice. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know how it was. Also, remember to check out our 10-day free trial on Inner Dementia TV. Plenty more of that if you're interested. That's it for this one, and I'll see you down the road. Namaste.